we just went over the relationship between the angular velocity and the velocity. Let's take a look at the relationship between the angular acceleration and the acceleration. So if we're looking for the acceleration at point on the outside edge of this rotating disk that has an angular acceleration, alpha, which is usually written in radians per second squared, we can figure out Remember that there are two components to acceleration. We have the tangential acceleration and we also have the normal acceleration, right? Due to the centripetal acceleration. So it's a little more in depth than just the velocity. So let's take a look at the tangential acceleration first. The tangential acceleration, which will be which will be tangent to this disk here, the tangential acceleration, is equal to alpha times r, where r is the distance here from the rotating axis. I think that's easy to see. Now, for the normal acceleration, what is that equal to? Well, in previous, we used v squared over r, right? And do you remember what we found for the velocity at this point? Right? The velocity at that point is equal to omega times r, right, at this point. So if we put omega times r into this, this equation, we have omega times r squared over r, which then comes out to omega squared r squared over r, one of the r's cancels here. So we just get omega squared r. So with that, we have our tangential components and our normal components to the acceleration vector. And if we want to write this actually as a vector, we have the acceleration in the tangential direction plus the acceleration in the normal direction. And let's continue on. This actually equals alpha cross r, all right? So if we have alpha, which is written as radians per second as a vector around some axis, maybe the k direction or the j direction, and r being a vector anywhere from the rotating axis to the point of interest where you want to find the acceleration, minus omega squared, times r. Okay. This term is the centripetal term here. And why the negative sign? Because it points towards the middle of the rotation axis. So this is the vector formulation of the acceleration of an object rotating around a fixed axis.